Chapter 88 Sword Demon's Might I am the Sword Demon, Dokoroku. The Swordsman Cloud Beast said coldly, as he spoke, there was an arrogant momentum in his tone. She looked downwards with cold eyes. Below, all the Zhengjin sect disciples, who were able to lock eyes with Dokurokumo, immediately felt a terrifying sword, intent rushing straight into their hearts. And in an instant, countless Zhengjin sect disciples were unable to move in general, and their faces revealed a look of horror. What a terrifying sword intent! The foothill god was horrified. Dokoroku, is there such a person in heaven? What a domineering name, Huang Fu Chaoj said with surprise on his face. Roar, Zhengjin Sword Chi. The saber-toothed tiger let out a roar with icy cold eyes. During the roar, the golden sword Chi storm that surrounded the body suddenly shot up into the sky. Golden Sword Chi, Dao Dao all with a forward-looking might, Millions of golden sword chi, wave after wave, incomparably sharp, wreaking havoc. Where the golden sword chi passed, it was the countless white sword chi that surrounded Dokroku. Boom! The golden and white sword chi collided, and instantly the white sword chi was chopped in two, destroying it as it continued to head high into the sky. Along the way, the golden sword chi was invincible and unstoppable. Although the White Sword Chi was numerous, it was chopped up in pieces. Right now, the White Sword Chi was about to be defeated. Zheng Gold Sword Chi, pure gold attribute in Sword Chi, surpassing countless sword keys. This Dokuga, is it just look-alike goods? Foothill God anxiously said. Ha 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 ha, unbearable. Countless Zhengjin sect disciples laughed with hideous faces. Only the saber-toothed tiger, at this moment, had a grave expression on his face. While others were looking at the sword chi, the saber-toothed tiger was looking at the sword intent. Although the white sword chi of the Duchess was easily broken, but the saber-toothed tiger could feel a sword intent that seemed to be several times stronger than his own was holding back. Moreover, this white sword chi that had been broken was only a small part. There was also a sea of sword chi clouds in the sky, containing a great destructive aura in general. Dr. Coldly looked at the distant saber-toothed tiger, revealing a hint of a cold smile. That hint of a cold smile, the saber-toothed tiger looked disdainful in general. Broken sword style. Dork Go Kurinai let out a cold shout. He did not draw his long sword at all, and with a cold shout, those scattered white sword chi suddenly had a general organization. All of them met the Golden Sword Chi, Dink. The foremost Golden Sword Chi and a White Sword Chi collided. Only this time, it wasn't the sword body, but the tip of the sword. Sword tip against sword tip. In that split second, the Golden Sword Chi suddenly lurched. Ding, 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 ding. Not only the foremost Golden Sword Chi, near an instant later, the sword tips of all the golden sword chi were blocked by the sword tips of the white sword chi. Coincidentally, the millions of golden sword chi were all instantly given a lurch by the white sword chi. For other people, it was only a beat, but for the saber-toothed tiger, it was as if time stood still, and all of its own sword chi was fixed in an instant. And in the millions of fixed sword chi, a white sword chi, suddenly from the crowd of sword chi shot. It was too fast, so fast that everyone didn't even see it. That one weak white sword chi arrived in front of the saber-toothed tiger in a flash. It was too fast, so fast that everyone didn't see it. Only the saber-toothed tiger saw it clearly. In that split second, all of his own sword chi was fixed, while well, the other part is one white sword chi chopped in at a speed that surpassed everything. It was too fast, so fast that the saber-toothed tiger couldn't even resist in time in general. Roar. The saber-toothed tiger gave out a roar of grief. Boom. The saber-toothed tiger was knocked out, and the tiger's tail was chopped off. Boom. The golden sword chi that filled the sky exploded and scattered and the saber-toothed tiger was sent flying backwards towards a large mountain by the impact. 
Boom. The large mountain collapsed. Everyone sucked in cold air as the tail of the saber-toothed tiger fell in mid-air. The crowd merely saw that that duchess shouted broken sword style. The million Zhengjin sword Qi gave a lurch, and the saber-toothed tiger was sent flying out, its tail chopped off. This, this, how is this possible? Countless Zhengjin sect disciples exclaimed in shock. The foothill god also rubbed his eyes, somewhat inconceivable. No, no, the mountain guard formation. It's useless against Dokuroku, he can attack the saber-toothed tiger in the formation. Huang Fu Chouj said, as his eyes lit up. As soon as Huang Fu Chouj said that, the crowd's eyes also lit up. Yes, this mountain guarding formation can't stop Dokuroku. Tail, my tail, roar. In the ruins of the mountain, the sound of a saber-toothed tiger roaring came out, roaring as it broke away from countless rubble and jumped out. The saber-toothed tiger roared as it looked at Dokuroku, but at this moment, Dokuroku gently waved his hand. A terrifying oppression went straight towards the saber-toothed tiger. However, it was seen that the sea of sword chi clouds high in the sky slowly coalesced, coalescing into a thousand feet large giant sword. The giant sword was dark in color, emitting a terrifying might, pressing down on the large formation below, against the saber-toothed tiger. The saber-toothed tiger's eyelids jumped wildly as he watched. What sword is that? Thousands of feet big. It's a stick, right? The foothill god was surprised. An unopened sword. The mold is somewhat like an Zhuan iron sword. Huang Fu Chouj was also puzzled. A heavy sword without a blade. A great coincidence. Doka Oku bellowed. As he spoke, the thousand foot black sword blasted down. Not good. He's going to break the formation, roar. The saber-toothed tiger stepped into the sky. Buzz, a thousand feet of golden sword diameters steeply emerged down his body and met him. The golden sword dipper, the Zhuan iron heavy sword, collided at the mountain guard formation. Under a loud explosion that destroyed the sky and the earth, the golden sword dipper shattered. The mountain guard formation burst apart with a loud explosion. Boom! As the mountain guardian formation burst apart, the 100,000 mountains roared with an intense earthquake. Poof! Poof! The tremendous concussive force shook countless disciples of the Gungjin sect, spitting out blood from their mouths. The Zhuan Iron Heavy Sword was like a giant sword-shaped mountain that plunged into the earth, thrusting the saber-toothed tiger into the earth as well, suppressing it. Hiss! The foothill god looked at the Zhuan Iron Heavy Sword in horror. No, no, I won't lose. I'm a golden god. I've mobilized the momentum of a Zong. How can I lose to you in the Tao of the Sword? Break it for me. The saber-toothed tiger's voice came steeply from the ground. With a huge impact, it boomed and counter-attacked the Zhuan Iron Heavy Sword, as if it had spared no effort. Boom. After all, the heaven-opening palace struck with all its might, and the Zhuan Iron Heavy Sword, along with the 18 large mountains around it, exploded open. Debris shot out in all directions, and the 100,000 great mountains were suddenly a mess. Ah, countless Gungjin sect disciples were affected, and once again, there was a scream of misery. The Zhuan Iron Heavy Sword burst into pieces, and the saber-toothed tiger, with the power of hatred, transformed into a sword light that seemed to be about to rush out from the ground. Dokoroku's expression remained cold. It's just a piece of spirit iron, you're a gold god, not a sword god, sword, you don't know sword yet. Old thing, saying that I don't know how to use a sword, watch me tear you apart, the saber-toothed tiger roared as it was about to charge out. Sword. Think gold and iron are the only swords. As long as the sword intent is sufficient, grass, wood, bamboo and stone can all be swords. Doctor let out a cold snort. As he spoke, the earth below steeply trembled. Boom. Steeply, in the earth, a giant sword of stone emerged, charging towards the saber-toothed tiger. What? The saber-toothed tiger's face changed. Boom. 
The stone giant sword boomed against the saber-toothed tiger's figure as it retreated. The saber-toothed tiger exploded back towards the distance. Boom, boom, boom. Above the earth. A sword-shaped mountain peak, either vertically or horizontally quickly sprinted out from the ground, hitting the saber-toothed tiger hard time and time again, and all the cultivators in the surroundings stared with wide eyes as they watched. Using the earth as a sword, mountains, rivers, grass and trees can all be swords. Then isn't Dokoroku's sword infinite? Wherever the mind goes, everything can be a sword. No, 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 no. The saber-toothed tiger screamed furiously in terror. Bad, 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 bad. Steeply, ten mountainous giant swords blasted through the saber-toothed tiger's body, nailing it to death on top of a large mountain. The saber-toothed tiger was unable to move, and its wide eyes revealed a wave of unwillingness. How could you possibly have such strong sword intent? Put me down. I want to fight you again. The saber-toothed tiger stared and roared. Doka Oku looked coldly at the saber-toothed tiger and laughed coldly. You are not worthy of letting me draw my sword. The saber-toothed tiger was nailed to the mountain, finished. And it was only then that all of them came back to their senses, that Dok Gukujutsu was grasping a sword in his hand. And up until now he had never pulled it out. The sword had never even been sheathed. How strong should this Dorko Kurenai sword Dao be? Not only was everyone shocked, Gu Hai's eyes were also shocked at this moment, although he himself had condensed Dokoroku, but he had only manifested the invincible intent of Dokoroku in his mind. But this 29 heaven and earth vertical and horizontal formation had manifested Dokoroku's aura and arrogance with power. Boom! Under Guhai's maneuver, Doka Oku Kushin burst apart with a loud bang. Master! The Dorgo Kurinai bull has gone crazy. I, I can't help but want to do a few songs for him. How did you make him disappear? Gu Chen instantly exclaimed. Guhai rolled his eyes and ignored it. You only know that Doka Oku is powerful. Do you know that he is even more powerful when it comes to spending money? Just this little while, at least 800 million upper grade spirit stones were gone. 800 million top grade spirit stones is 8 trillion lower grade spirit stones are. Hold on, you're paying for it. The mountain guard formation has been broken. The saber toothed tiger has been defeated. Next, it's up to you guys. Guhai said in a deep voice. Rumble. All around, a single cloud beast coalesced once again. Xiongyu, Kao Kao, Gujian, Lu Bu, and so on. An army of a million cloud beasts reappeared. A group of elites from the Divine Foothills, Imperial Dynasty, immediately manipulated the cloud. Beasts, followed by saying respectfully to Gu Hai, yes, Mergu. The Doka Oku just now had conquered the hearts of a group of elites. This Mr. Gu's great formation was too powerful. I am Xiongyu. Children of Jiang Dong, kill with me. I am Gu Jian, 3000 Yu armor, kill with me. With a cry, millions of cloud beasts killed the golden armor sect. King Lu City. Patriarch Zheng Jin was in the middle of attacking the city with a large army. After experiencing it for most of the month, it looked like King Lu City was about to break open. But this battle, it was too tough. It was even more tragic than Tianhe City. Countless corpses piled up into mountains in general. At least another three million people died, and a dozen elders perished as well. Chu Chen said with an ugly face. The city will be broken soon. They won't be able to hold out much longer. At most tomorrow, the city will be broken, and after that, the city will be slaughtered. The Zhengjin sovereign said in a cold voice. Yes, a group of Gungjin sect powerhouses said with ruthless colors on their faces. A. The followers of the clan steeply changed their faces. Sovereign. What's wrong? Chu Chen said suspiciously. Chi Luck, the saber-toothed tiger, has mobilized a clan of the world's power. Something's happened to the headquarters. 
Sovereign Jenjin said, with an ugly expression. I also heard the saber-toothed tiger's voice. It came through the Qi Yun Hai. What has happened? Chu Chen's face changed. The crowd of Gongjin sect disciples around them also heard the saber-toothed tiger's voice and revealed looks of surprise. Huang Fu Chouj. I said that I haven't heard from him lately, and he's actually sounding off and heading straight for my Zhengjin sect. The Gongjin sect master was surprised. Huh. Then Patriarch. What should we do now? HMPH. With the saber-toothed tiger in place, and having mobilized the power of one clan under the sky, Wang Fu Chao is definitely no match. Continue to attack the city. Continue. Speed up the progress. Sovereign Zheng Jin said in a cold voice. Yes, the crowd responded. The siege continued, however. It didn't take long. The Gungjin Patriarch's face changed. Sovereign, what did you sense again? No, the saber-toothed tiger is defeated and dying. How is that possible? How is that possible? Patriarch Gungjin exclaimed.